Hi, I'm Sepida Razavi, Assistant Professor of Chemical Engineering here at the University of Oklahoma in Norman. My expertise is in colloid and interface science, and my research is focused on soft materials. I'm originally from Iran. I was born and raised in Tehran, the capital. During high school years, I figured that I really like chemistry along with math and physics, so I decided to pursue chemical engineering. I did my bachelor and master's in chemical engineering, and after obtaining a master's degree, I realized I want to pursue a PhD degree. Now, growing up, I was always fascinated by different cultures and learning about what life is like living in another country. In fact, I started learning English when I was five or six years old, so when I was ready to move on with PhD degree, I decided to come abroad. Um, I moved to New York City in 2010. I started my PhD under the supervision of Professor Alona Kretschmar, who looked at particles at interfaces, and in 2015, I obtained my PhD. Now, I wanted to pursue a career in academia, so I um, really wanted to do some independent research also. So I joined um, University of Michigan in the lab of Professor Michael Solomon to gain a couple of years of more independent research experience. And since 2018, I've joined a faculty here at the University of Oklahoma in Chemical Engineering Department. I work with soft materials. Um, much of the material that we work with on a daily basis is soft material from foam, lotion, soaps to polymer paint and glue. Much of the food we consume is soft matter. The very basic example of that is milk. We, as human beings, are actually a product of self-assembly in soft matter. So it's a very multidisciplinary field and soft materials are everywhere on our daily life. What we do in the realm of soft materials is to engineer the self-assembly in soft materials. By self-assembly, I mean the process of creating an organization in a system of building blocks. The building blocks we work with are nano and colloidal particles. These are very small. We play around with their shape, size, and surface properties to then be able to engineer what kind of structures we build as we have them come together. We can engineer the assembly both um, you know, by tuning the shape and surface properties or also applying external fields such as electric field, magnetic field, and light. The idea is to be able to um, come up with the structures that are going to then serve a very unique function. This is a very multidisciplinary field and the findings in the lab can be applied to a variety of applications and industries. For instance, in material science and research, we can come up with um, smart coatings. In surface catalysis, we can use this um, idea of self-assembly. In food engineering, we can come up with emulsions and foams that have desirable form of stability and properties. And also in biomedical applications, we can engineer then protein assembly. There are a few things that I really appreciate about this job. First and foremost is the fact that being a faculty is a very dynamic occupation. Um, you get to work on very exciting topics and along the way you meet with new people, you start to learn about new ideas and new topics and before you know you're going to work on problems that you never thought you're going to get involved in. So it's very um, very exciting and the opportunities are endless. The other thing that I like about this job is working with students, mentoring students, and um, giving a lecture. It makes you feel like you're really giving back to the community and helping people obtain their career goals and um, help them advance uh, along the way. And the other thing is that, you know, as we grow older, we're always going to be working with this younger generation, so there is a very special uplifting energy associated with that. There are two main misconceptions that I come across as a faculty of chemical engineering. The first one is related to chemical engineering as a major. Oftentimes when I tell people that I'm a chemical engineer, the very first question is, so what do you make in the lab as a chemist? So both chemical engineering and chemistry are important fields, but there's a distinction that needs to be made between the two majors. Um, chemists tend to focus more on small-scale um, novel materials in the lab, whereas chemical engineers take those ideas and try to scale them up in order to come up with products that can be um, uh, attained in a larger scale, that can benefit the public, and processes that are more efficient. So we do a lot of reaction kinetics engineering, um, mass and heat transfer, fluid mechanics, in order to be able to um, engineer those processes and come up with more efficient design. The second misconception is related to be uh, faculty um, in academia. 
Uh, oftentimes I get asked, so what do you do over the summer when the school is closed? Are you off for three months of summer? Being a faculty, we tend to do three things. On top of teaching, we also do research and service. The teaching part is obvious. We do teach undergraduate and graduate courses, but we have to also do research in which we um, come up with novel ideas, we write proposals, and we get funding from um, government agencies, industry, private sector and so on. Then we take that funding, we hire PhD students to work in the lab on those ideas as they are working on their PhDs. Now the third component that is not discussed um, as much is service. We put together scientific conferences, we sit on review panels, we review um, scientific articles, and we also do public outreach to raise awareness about the science we do. Let me tell you about this common theme that comes up when I talk to students, especially senior students that are about to graduate. And oftentimes I see that students have this feeling of being lost and being confused about what they want to do and their next step. So my advice would be to try to explore as much as you can early on. Try to do undergraduate research in your department or college or even exchange um, undergraduate research opportunities. Try to sign up for summer internships and really explore and see what excites you and go and pursue that. And I also can't emphasize enough the importance of building those uh, professional networks very early on. This is both with the senior faculty, your mentors, your industrial connections, but also people that are more junior to you that come after you because 10 years down the road, you don't know where each and every one of those people are going to be. And some of them are going to be very important and key for your career advancement. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, ask for your opportunities, or even create your own opportunities if you have to. To just share a little bit of a story about myself, that's how I got my postdoc position. When I was coming up to defend my thesis, I knew that I wanted to pursue the academic route and I wanted to gain research experience as a postdoc. So I started applying for postdoc opportunities and I got about four postdoc offers, but there was this lab that I was really excited about joining and um, I thought they would be a great match for what I want to do in, in my career. So I wrote an email to the PI, this is Professor Michael Solomon at University of Michigan, and I explained to him what my background is and he wrote back to me and he was very excited and he said, yes, your background is very aligned with what I do in the lab, but unfortunately I don't have any funding right now. So try to get in touch with me again in the next few months or so when it comes closer to your um, thesis defense. So I did contact him again, but nothing has changed about his um, funding situation yet. So I really made the effort um, during this conference that was happening at the same time to go and talk to him and explain to him how I can contribute to his lab and how I can gain a lot of experiences from his lab. And lo and behold, two days later, I got an offer from him that he has found some funding for me. So don't be afraid to ask and seize the opportunities as they arise. I'm Safida Razavi, Assistant Professor of Chemical Engineering here at the University of Oklahoma. Thanks for watching my profile. For more videos and interviews, please go on yesscienceshow.com. Thank you.